It's been a while since I've talked about any of my psychedelic experiences, so I just wanted to update you guys on how that's been going and what's been going on with me. I recently, two days ago, had a LSD trip, and then I smoked DMT probably around like in the middle of the experience, I think. So it was like 20 milligrams. And basically how the experience was going was it was pretty mild and more of a recreational thing. Like I just took it to celebrate because I just finished one of my piano pieces that I was learning. So I, I was spending a lot of time on that. So I, I wanted to use this as a sort of con congratulating celebra celebration type of experience. And for the whole beginning of it, it was, you know, an easy trip, like it wasn't anything to, to think about, but when I smoked the 20-something milligrams of DMT, it, I remember blowing it out and then lying down, and then I went into some sort of trance because I remember looking at this vision. I was like in, in a place with some weird alien-like entity that kind of looked like a gargoyle, but I, I felt like I was on or in some sort of weird dark dimension that was kind of like a TARDIS and it it seemed a lot more electric because of the LSD like I could I could feel like I could notice what's different about just having DMT alone and having LSD alone first of all LSD didn't have any of these wild crazy vivid out-of-body experiences and entities and, and out-of-body or TARDIS like dimensions but it was more sort of hypnagogia type hallucinations in my closed eye visuals that the LSD was providing. So when I was on this DMT trip, I remember I, I went into a somewhat of a trance and I did something that I haven't done in a long time, which was starting to speak in tongues or some sort of gibberish. And this kind of thing is really weird because it's, it, I almost, at least at this time, I didn't really notice myself doing it. Like I went into a trance where all of this seemed normal. And it was like I was sort of hijacked by some sort of other other entity inside me that just began doing something that I usually don't do in my own waking life. So it was a very strange experience. And I remember thinking that this was almost abnormal behavior it wasn't normal human behavior and I was I was asking like well then what am I and I thought I was I thought I was an alien for a sec but really I was probably just tripping <laughs> but it's really interesting that those gibberish type states happen uh, and it hasn't happened in a long time but after this I quickly it started to feel more sinister and dark and I remember getting kind of scared about it like a little bit or worried and it was bringing it was bringing anxiety flashbacks of like a, a really difficult sort of bad trip that i had on oral d mt like i think around a month ago and i didn't really make a trip report about that one because i well i mean i wrote one but i didn't make a video about it and that one kind of it kind of scared me for a bit and i think that th this experience sort of gave a, re a residual sort of flashback to that old experience where I felt very uh, out of control and, and wanted it to stop for a bit. So I, I started to feel that fear again and it was weird because like when I feel this fear like my visions and hallucinations get extremely intense. Like my when I opened my eyes my room seemed sinister and it seemed kind of like a Halloween type decoration. Like everything was jagged and sort of bat like. Or at least the shadows and everything and I was seeing it was it was almost cartoon like it was like some sort of artist drew it and and it had the typical sort of geometry type over overreacting grinning faces and clown like stuff but it was it was of a, of a Halloween type theme and I, and I just felt that my room was decorated in this and, and I felt kind of scared by it and it was bringing back the anxiety that I had in the last experience. So I don't really know what's happening. It's, it's, I'm a lot more scared to, to trip now for some reason. It's, of course I, I want to conquer these fears. I mean, it's obviously some sort of 
manifestation of an inner tor turmoil that I'm having with my psyche, but either way, like, I don't, I don't want to be locked out because I can't handle it anymore, because uh, obviously I need to see the experience to make my art, so I gotta figure out a way around the fear that I'm experiencing, so maybe sort of retrain myself to go deeper and deeper without getting, because I, if I can pinpoint what's making me afraid, and it has to do with an increase in sort of OCD type fears of, of harming myself or harming others, I think, and, and it's sort of a fear of getting out of control in that sort of way. So I felt like if I, if I was in a, a more secure environment that didn't have like, you know, sharp objects or things that I could hurt my health with, I would be a lot more secure about it. I feel like I'm just sort of getting less, I'm feeling less safe about my environment when I'm tripping, so it might be a set and setting problem that I have to overcome, but I definitely want to keep having these experiences, so I'm going to have to work around it somehow, so that's pretty much what I wanted to share, and hopefully, you know, you guys can give me some of your own insights on what you think I should do in this situation, so, alright, I'll see you later.